Hello, everybody in Tulsa, and happy Earth Day from Vermont. Um, I wish I was there with you. We all wish that we could travel, be together. We can't right now. We're in the coronavirus crisis against the backdrop of the climate crisis, and our job is to figure out how to make crises less bad than they would otherwise be, how to flatten the virus curve, but also how to flatten the carbon curve, how to take science for real uh, uh, in ways that we haven't in the past, and now we're learning some of those hard lessons. I know that Oklahoma has learned a lot of those lessons over the years. I know that there's no place that's been more shook up by fracking, um, no place that's dealt with hotter, higher temperatures. Um, it's not easy, any of this. But 50 years ago, our forebears managed to put together 20 million people out in the streets and change the flavor of America. Since we can't be in the streets, we need to be thinking about how to do this other ways, but the message remains the same. And the good news is that the message has grown and changed and shifted in beautiful ways. The environmental movement is so much more diverse than it was 50 years ago. Um, it needs to be more diverse yet, but it's the leadership that's coming from indigenous communities and frontline communities as one of the best parts of all that's happened. We're also more sophisticated because we understand that we have to take on the financial powers that be here, the big banks and the asset managers and the fossil fuel companies. We understand the possibility for divesting from places like those and putting super pressure on them to change. If there's one thing we've learned from coronavirus, it's that when you delay, things get worse. We can't delay any longer. We got to fight like heck. And I am so grateful to you all for being in that fight.